What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Big Boy Fact Shiny. Tonight, I'm going to do my WWE SmackDown review on highlights. If you guys are new, hit that like button. Helps the YouTube add to Subscribe to my channel. Follow my social media down below in the description. Let's get started. We're kicking things off in ring segment with Cesaro. Cesaro is standing in the ring, but Seth Rollins interrupts him before he can say anything. Rollins congratulates Cesaro on fulfilling his potential, and he says Cesaro will, was able to do so because he was in the ring with the new Mr. WrestleMania himself. The former the former WWE Universal Champion says he looks he took Cesaro he took Cesaro to the promised land and he demands a thank you. He questions Cesaro championship aspiring and and says this isn't over until he says he says so. Rollins blames the rain delay for his loss at WWE WrestleMania because Cesaro couldn't beat him at his worst. Cesaro challenged Rollins to a rematch and, and the Messiah walked to the ring, preparing to accept it. But Jay Uso interrupts the um, confrontation and says Cesaro doesn't belong in the same ring with Roman Reigns. Jay Uso says he, he wants to teach Cesaro a lesson, but Rollins talks talks him down so they can attack Cesaro together. They surrounded the ring, but Daniel Bryan comes to Cesaro's rescue. Bryan summarized why all three men came out to the arena. He says he came out to the ring to ensure that Cesaro gets what he deserves. He states that he respects Cesaro because of his hard work, and Bryan states that Cesaro has worked harder everyone, including Reigns. Brian insults Reigns by saying he doesn't like to wrestle. Brian dares anyone to come fight him and Cesaro. And Reigns comes to the stage. Okay. Reigns recaps how how he defeated Brian and Edge at and he calls Brian and Cesaro main event losers. He warns Cesaro that he's surrounded by people who want to beat him up. So we get Daniel, so we get Cesaro and Daniel Bryan versus Seth Rollins and Jay Uso. This was a good tag team match. The two teams brawl before the match officially begins. Bryan starts the match with Uso and double team, team double team him with Cesaro. The Swiss Cyborg tags in and controls the match. Rollins enters the match and eventually gains the upper hand. Uso grounds Cesaro and isolates him for Bryan from Bryan. Rollins and Uso gang up on Cesaro, but he rallies and tags Bryan. The fan favorite star helps his team regain the advantage, but Rollins powerbomb him into the corner. Cesaro breaks up the pin after a frog splash. Rollins and Uso continues to control the match by grounding Bryan for several minutes. Bryan gets some breathing room, and he tags in Cesaro. The Switch Cyborg clears house and drills Uso with a clothesline. Uso escapes the, the swing, but Cesaro blasts him with a springboard uppercut. Cesaro hits a pop-up uppercut for a near fall. Rollins and Bryan battle, and Bryan dives onto the Messiah out, outside the ring. Cesaro nails Uso with, a, uh, with another uppercut, but Uso catches him with a super kick. Rollins escapes the swing, but Cesaro locks in the sharpshooter. Uso breaks it up with a super kick, but Rollins walks out on Jay Uso. Cesaro capitalized with a deadlift superplex, and Bryan hits the yes, yes knee for the win. The winners, the winner of this match, Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan and Cesaro. After the match, Bryan calls for Reigns and jokes about the championship threats. Cesaro, Cesaro catch a charging, charging Uso and swing him while Bryan counts. Cesaro then drop. Uso with a with an uppercut. Brian and Cesaro continue to wait for Reigns while they insult his character. Brian tells Cesaro to swing Jay Uso again, and he does. Reigns absent allows Brian to criticize his character even more. Brian says Reigns is afraid. Reigns is afraid of Cesaro because he knows he loses his title in a match with the Swiss Cyborg. All right, let's move on. So we get backstage. Backstage, Jay Uso says he had enough of this disrespect, and he storms off. Nia Jack, accompanied by Shanna Baszler and Reginald versus Tamina. This the only match I didn't even care. All right, Jax talks some trash to Tamina, and the insult fire fire her up. Tamina takes 
the fight to Jack, but Basil stops her from slamming her partner. Tamina throws Jack into the barricade. Reginald distracts Tamina, and Basil argues with him. The co the conflict distracts Jack, and Tamina capitalizes with a rolling Jack up for a win. The winner of the match, Tamina. After the match, Nia Jack and Shayna Basil and Reginald try to to sort out their issues. Backstage, Kevin Owens says he thrilled to get another shot at the WWE Intercontinental Championship. He says he glad he gladly knocked Apollo Crews off his perch. And Biggie laughs. He's he says Owens jumped in the jumped the line and took his, this match for Biggie's title. Kevin Owens says Biggie is right, but he won't get his rightful rematch tonight. Owens vows to win the match and take the title for himself. So we get the WWE Intercontinental Championship, Apollo Crews versus uh Kevin Owens. This match was this match was good. The match starts slowly and Owens gains the upper hand. The challenger hits a running senton and clothesline. Cruz out of the ring. Um, as as gets in Owens' way, and the distraction allows um, Cruz Apollo Cruz to take control. Owens rallies and hit and hits a swanton bomb. But Sami Zayn comes to the stage to distract Kevin Owens. He joins the commentary table and Owens maintains the advantage. Kevin Owens drills Cruz with a super kick, but a but a clothesline gives the champion some momentum. Cruz super super sup, suplex Owens three times for for a two count. Owens hits a cannonball in the corner, but Cruz kicks out. The champion dodge dodge, dodge a stunner, but but Owens hits a pop up power bomb for a near fall. As gets on the apron and distracts Kevin Owens, allowing Cruz to roll up Kevin Owens for the win. Um, um, the winner of the match and still your Intercontinental Champion Apollo Crews. After the match, Kevin Owens drops Crew, Apollo Crews with a stunner, but S hits him with a Samoan spike. Um, Sami Zayn then dances over Zayn while over Kevin Owens while he writhes in pain. Backstage, Paul Heyman praises Cesaro and says Reigns will answer his challenge challenge later later tonight. Apollo Crews gives gives an interview backstage, but Biggie viciously attacks him. Officials separate separate the the, the two men, but Biggie leads Crews Crews down and out. All right. Vent Adventures hypes the return of Alistair Black. He says he wants people to know the truth, so he reads from a storybook. He he describes a story a story of about attending funerals and having a distant distant uh, father father black says he, he was only thought only taught how to become the dragon he calls the viewers monster and he says he'll never be like them he criticized the lies and in and dec and dec dec decades that that they passed down to their ch children he says he says these monsters should be scorched from the earth in favor for of more fruit, fruitful things. I'm glad to see Alistair Black back on SmackDown. But anyway, backstage, the Street Profits con confronts the Dirty Dogs, hoping for another title shot. Bailey interrupts the interview and walks and talks about her title shot at at WWE WrestleMania Backlash. She says she gives Bella the opportunity to work with her, and Bella never thanked her for an opportunity. Bailey vows to reclaim her title and her spots, her spot, a spot top division. Montez Ford calls Bianca Bella on his phone, and the EST says she'll be right there. All right. After a commercial, after a commercial, Belair confronts Bailey and declares her to insult her to. Her to her face. Bailey back backtracks and says she honored to face Bel Air. She walks away, comes back, and laughs at B Bianca Belair before she walks away again. So we get Ray and Dominic Mysterio versus Chad Gable and Otis. It says um, the winner of the match, Ray, Ray and Dominic Mysterio. In ring segment, Cesaro and Daniel Bryan. Cesaro says he waiting to hear Reigns answer. Reigns comes to the ring angry that Cesaro d dares to challenge him. He stares Bryan down and, 
and says he never like him. He states there that he'll give Brian one more title shot at his title, and and it will be next week on SmackDown. So Cesaro tells Brian to take it, but Brian says when Brian loses that match, he will never want to see Brian again. He wants him to disappear from SmackDown. Brian agrees to challenge, challenge to close the show. All right. Let me know down below what you what you guys think on SmackDown. If you guys enjoy my WWE SmackDown review on highlights, hit that like button. It helps the YouTube out the way. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok down below in the description. Um, I'm glad Alice back returns to SmackDown. That's all I gotta say. You guys have a great night. Stay safe. Stay strong. And always stay positive. Big boy facts, Johnny. And I'm out of here. But I hope I hope WWE books Alice Black the way it should be booked. That's all I gotta say. And I'm glad Alice Black returns to SmackDown. That's all I gotta say. Have a great night. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys later.